It is something that people will hold on to, something that people will keep, they'll savor it, because everybody loves to feel good about themselves. Everybody needs somebody to believe in themselves. And so when, when any time you write a, a positive, encouraging note, you begin to win with people. And I really believe that, that God puts people in our lives on purpose so that we can help them to become all that he has created them to become. You don't have to turn there, but 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1 says, Love, one translation says, Love encourages people to grow to their full stature. So when you're a person of love, when you're walking in God's love, you're going to always be trying to help people to grow to their full stature, grow to the full person that God created them to become. And most people will never reach their full potential without somebody else believing in them, somebody else affirming them. And so written notes are so powerful. I recall this, I read this a few years ago and I remember I kept it, but uh, this was something powerful that uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson, he wrote to a young writer by the name of Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman was just starting out. And, and Ralph Waldo Emerson sent him this encouraging note and it became one of the most famous pieces of literature of our time. And Emerson wrote this note. He said, Dear Sir, this is just an excerpt from it, not the full piece, but he says, Dear Sir, I am not blind to the worth of the wonderful gift of leaves of grass. I find it the most extraordinary piece of wit and wisdom that America has contributed. I am very happy in reading it as great power makes us happy. I greet you at the beginning of a great career which yet must have had a long foreground somewhere for such a start. And it was signed Ralph Waldo Emerson. And they said if, if, if Emerson had not sent this note to, to Whitman, who knows if Whitman would have ever become the writer he became. They said something about that note was so powerful. In fact, Whitman included that letter in his book. He was writing a book and he put Emerson's letter in his book. It meant so much to him and it really launched him in his career. You win with people by just writing an, an encouraging note. There's a, a, another scripture in the book of Isaiah chapter 50, that, verse 4, that lets us know how powerful the things we say are and how they affect other people. It says, the Lord God, Isaiah 50, verse 4, says, the Lord God hath given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. And it goes on to say in the, in the next part of that scripture that God will wake up your ear and drop something in it every day. God will drop something in your ear every day for you to share, to be uplifting to somebody else. Isn't that powerful? Every day, this is what the scripture says, every day God will drop something in your ear for you to share with somebody else to be uplifting and encouraging and, you know, just to brighten their day, to brighten their life. God, without fail, every day drops something in you to share to uplift somebody else. We've been missing that. We've been missing that, but he drops it. The Bible says he drops it in your ear every day. So every day, don't go to bed. Don't go to bed without releasing that powerful gift of encouragement. So I don't care if it's 11 o'clock at night, you about to get into bed and you just remember, oh, I have an encouragement. But get on the phone. Say, listen, child, I, I, forgive me for calling you so late, but I just want to let you know that I was just thinking about you. You are so special. You mean so much to me. You're a great friend. God bless you and good night. <laughs> 
every day God puts something in you to bless somebody else. That's what Isaiah 50 verse 4 says. Here's another key. I always believe the best about people. I always believe the best about people. You remember when, when Jesus, um, he encountered the woman who was taken in adultery. He told her, he said, go and sin no more. And what he was saying, in other words, he was saying, this isn't who you are. You're better than this. There's more to you. This is not wh who God created you to be. And he, he was instilling in this woman a sense of destiny. When everyone else was about to stone her and throw her away, Jesus comes along and he affirms her. He appreciates. He said, woman, do, go and sin no more. Don't. Don't involve in this lifestyle. That's not who you are. That's not who you were created to be. You're better than this. There, there's more inside of you. God has gifted you. God has something great in store for you. You're special in the sight of God. He loves you. And so he always believed the best. That's one thing about Jesus that he teaches us about winning with people. He always believed the best. Turn to your neighbors. Always believe the best about people. Always believe the best about people. And Along with that principle, you can also say, give other people a reputation to uphold. You win with people when you give them a positive reputation to uphold. I'll give you some scriptural example. You notice what God did with Abraham? He changed his name from Abram to Abraham. Well, God was giving him a positive reputation to uphold. He was saying, you are a father of many nations. And he had no children at the time. But God gave him a... Now, th that just does something to you. When you're walking around, your name is father of many nations. That's the name that you've been given by God. Something that made Abraham, he had to turn over in the middle of the night and say, Wait a minute, I'm named father of many nations. That drove Abraham to do something about it because God had given him a reputation to uphold. God did the same thing with Jacob, changed his name from Jacob to Israel, you know, from, from conniver and schemer to a prince with God. So God gave, notice how God always gave people a reputation to uphold. Even when they weren't there yet, he always gave them the reputation. He called Gideon, a mighty man of valor when Gideon was shaking in his boots as a coward. But God gave him a reputation. So God always gives people a reputation to uphold. So you win with people when you give people, turn your name and say, give people a positive reputation to uphold. People always go further than they could have gone. You know, but when somebody that they respect gives them a reputation of uphold, they'll go a lot further than they ever would have without that. So always give people a reputation to uphold. Let me see if I, if I had anything else I wanted to, I wanted to share about uh, winning with people, some other keys we'll, we'll do here in the last couple of minutes. Here's a powerful key I had in my notes, and that's, that's to praise people in front of people. Praise people in front of people. Make people feel good about themselves and you really make them feel important when you do it in front of somebody else. Every Sunday when I walk up those steps, one of the ushers, he always says this to me and he always nudges another usher when he says it. He said, he said look at C. Elijah running up the steps. He looks like a teenager. And he, he always turns to another, uh, another usher and says, doesn't he look like a teenager? Now folks, believe it or not, I look forward to that every Sunday. <laughs> I look forward to that. Because he's, he's giving me a compliment publicly and it, it makes me feel good. And I don't want to come in by any other usher, any other door. I make sure I go past his door every Sunday. And he says it without fear. He said, look at see Elijah. Doesn't he look like a teenager? Look at him. But it's something about that. It makes me, I mean, that usher has won with me. You win with people when you give them public praise. Praise them public. I wish I had time to take you through the scriptures to show you all the times Jesus did it. Jesus said, oh, your faith is the greatest faith in all of Israel. He did that publicly so everybody could hear it. 
Folks, I, oh, I, we out of time. Go to addjesus.com. I want you to listen to this message, message number 7474. You can hear it in its entirety. You can also email it to a friend. Absolutely free of charge. But thank you so much for joining us today at Brothers of the Word because, brother, you need the Word. Brothers of the Word, when the voice of God is heard, Brothers of the Word, there's a word from God for everyone. Brothers of the Word, because, brother, you need the Word. Brothers of the Word, Brothers of the Word.